Hello, I'm Keith Ford, and welcome to another edition of From the Vault. And today I have my little Swedish M94 Mauser. Now, I'll be the first to admit that I love Swedish stuff. Swedish meatballs, Ikea, the Swedish bikini team, but most of all, Swedish Mausers. Now, the Swedish military adopted the Mauser rifle in 6.5 by 55 in 1894. And the first configuration was this carbine right here. Now, that would stay the issue rifle up until 1896 whenever they developed the long rifle, but these would still be in production and in use up until 1933. Now this one right here is a 1903 production, but it's a wonderful little gun. Now let's take a look at it. Now if you see this stock disc right here, that designates the Northern Naval District of Sweden. This was a Navy rifle. And you notice that there's no provision for a bayonet as there's no bayonet lug here. The alteration of that wouldn't happen until 1914 and that was designated the M9414. But these are fantastic cool little guns, great shooters. There's around 125,000 of these produced from 1894 to around 1933. There was different runs of them, they weren't continually produced since the 96 was pretty much the standard issue rifle then. Now, all the Swede Mausers will be cock on closing instead of cock on opening. As you see right here, cock it, you just open it up, bring it back, then you'll see your cocking piece right here. She's cocked right there. Now there's a standard Mauser three position safety. Straight up right here, the trigger is locked, but you can open the bolt to extract around. And over here on your far side, she's locked and in safe position. Sights ranged up to 1,600 meters, and you can flip it up like so. Now, the Swedes always took care of their guns and never used corrosive primers, so that helps on the bore of these guns and the condition of them. Now, Swedish Mausers were probably the best Mausers ever produced. They used quality steel. Craftsmanship was excellent. They maintained them great. They were just fantastic guns and, and stayed in really good condition. Now you notice that there's a little extension on the end of this nose piece right here. And that is because whenever these were first imported into the country, the ATF designated a short barrel rifle as 18 inches or less. And this was just a little bit less than 18 inches. So they had to put that cap on, but later on, they dropped the length down to 16 inches. So. That was a change that was kind of different. Just imagine being an SBR now with 18 inches. Uh, crazy law. But nope. But there you have it. That is my Swedish M94 carbine. Now, do you love Swedish Mausers as much as I love mine? If you do, be sure and drop us a line. And while you're at it, smash that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Be sure to tune in again whenever we bring another gun from the vault. <laughs>